Gotta have this on. That's super important. We're going for 100%. That means every single Korok seed, every single thing, every single location. I gotta, I gotta make sure I have a, I don't set myself up for um, a, a crazy amount of grinding. So this area is under a veil of snow. Again, that gives me strong Okami vibes. That's just the final arc of the game, which is great because that is my third favorite game ever made. Hi, you are a man that I would like to kill. Wave at me. Hello. Hello. They Honey. There you go. Smile for the death. A sapphire sword. Uh. I don't think I care. I don't think I care. Ah, eh, you know, I'll take that. I'll, I'll take. I'll take the sapphire sword. It's fine. Oh, this is okay. That was a mechanic then. Wait, this is just grippy as can be. Can I destroy? Let's let's try a jump tech first. Okay, so that's what they're gonna be doing. I could probably melt it. Uh, it's it's gonna be hiding Korok seeds. It's gonna be hiding caves. I need to be careful of that. Also, one of my pet peeves about about Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Why is it that the the warm? Oh wait, not the warm greaves. The snow quill. Oh wait, not not the snow quill trousers. Uh, <laughs> the snow boots. The snow boots don't give me cold resistance. Why? It makes no sense. How's he standing? Here we go. Have. Perfect. What happened to the, my contraption? With your help, he's standing. Take this. I love how Link just... Oh, thank you. I love how Link just can't hold it in place. He has to build an entire apparatus so that this guy can build an entire... Ah! I see. Uh, an entire apparatus. It's it's very odd. What is happening here? I thought those... I saw those. I thought they were socks. They're not socks. Although that would be a cool pattern for socks to have. Get on it, Nintendo. <laughs> that works as a landmark. Ooh. Hey there. Are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. Though as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlight set up around that fancy Skyview Tower. <laughs> I got that voice very wrong for him. It won't l warm you like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat it for size and sheer brightness. Oh, the Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. If you lose your way in the blizzard, you can count on our bonfires to help you get you oriented. Oh! Now, to be honest, the Skyview Tower is much easier to spot with all the lights set up around it. It hurts to admit it, but I don't see how our bonfires can even compete with that. My name's Neck! <laughs> I once had a very sexy voice, but then I opened my mouth and Pal realized his grievous mis mistake! I'm gonna take all your wood. <laughs> and your flint. Hello! Oh. I can't have those. <clears throat> we found all those strange things at the foot of the Heber Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? I've done every test I can think, but I haven't learned anything. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is that they're pretty heavy and sharp. It'd probably hurt if you got hit with one, huh? Well, I've got- I'm- I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. If you want them for some reason, they're all yours. All right, thank you. They're mine now. I am go also going to take your mushroom that you were withholding from me. My mushroom. Where on earth? Uh, I don't see the Korok seed. I don't see the Korok seed. I wonder if it's indoors. I have this stuff. I can. I can have all this stuff. Then why do you have a shop if you're just giving this out for free? You have peppers. Give them to me with your hands. Also your wood. Oh, 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 you know, I know why that why Neck has this, ha, had that voice. So this guy can have the original voice. L Link, you're all right. I worried after I heard that you'd gone missing. What happened? 
my face began to wiggle. Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you, I haven't heard anything about her. Our feathers are full, dealing, dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. Wish I could do more for you. Though, now that I think of it, maybe Tulin could help. You know, the kid that you just finished talking to. Oh, right, you weren't around for it, bud. Little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in the vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. His wind gust technique is something I, is just something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even Stern Taba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but... Well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with Kasane and Laisa on a trip to find food. I think they were on their way to Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. That there should be a bonfire marked in the spot. <laughs> you know our, us, Rito, and our bonfires. You'll find it at the mouth of the cave, and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. Taba is protecting the village, where the children are, so that, so, I, so that I can keep things going on here. Whether it's figuring out the source of this weird weather or scrounging food day and night, everyone's pitching in doing their part. But don't feel like you're intruding, bud. If there's anything you want to know, you can ask me. Uh, I want to know about the sky monsters, to be honest. Other than make sure everyone's fed, mostly we investigate what the deal is with this blizzard. This island-looking thing appeared in the sky along with the blizzard. It's been raining down junk on us ever since. Not only that, but we have to deal with these packs of flying monsters. I've never seen anything like them. Most of us are focused on checking out the mountains themselves, but some are looking into Rito legends and fables. We're casting a wide net out with this one. Anything that might be related is fair game. You never know where the clue that breaks the whole thing wide open will be found, after all. I wouldn't rule anything out as long as there's a chance. Anything else you want to know? Uh, I already know that... I'll ask this. We're nearly certain that the source of the blizzard is above that cloud. If we can confirm that, it's a good first step. We don't yet have the supplies to make the trek up there, but we're chipping away at the problem little by little. Just between you and me, we're thinking of sending Tulin as our investigator should see him in action. His abilities really are something, Link. He's a better flyer and archer than most of the adults. And the way he can create winds at will? That's a trick I've never even heard anyone else pulling off. Except yourself, that is. The only thing is, with all that skill at his command, he tends to assume he doesn't need anyone else backing him up. That's gotten him into trouble more times than I can count. Taba and I talk all the time about what he could accomplish if he could only get rid of that silly idea. That sillier ego. Okay, that's all I got. I'm gonna read your journal now, in front of you. Yeah, give me- give me that lore! Give me that lore! <clears throat> One day, the winds that- I apologize about the mask. You know what, I'm gonna silence that in editing. Future pal, hit the music! Give it- give me some, like, Okami music or something. No, 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 not that music. Not that music, pal. You know better than that. No! No! That's bad. Use your editing for good, not evil. There you go. One day, the winds that ought to blow in Rito Village ceased. Then the heavens grew stagnant, and the earth fell to ruin. The villagers looked skyward for a solution. They saw a figure pierce through the unmoving gray clouds and descend swiftly towards them. Believing no ordinary being could fall from the heavens, the villagers called this figure a god and the gods stood atop a hill day after day, longing to return home to their island in the heavens. The villagers, forgetting their own troubles, tried to carry the god home on their proud wings. Yet who can say how far it might be, the place this god came from? The Rito took flight in turn, each hoping to reach the place above the clouds. Alas, none had wings strong enough. Seeing this, the god told the leader of the village that returning to the heavens was possible if the Rito gathered minerals. They began to play Starcraft in tandem. Hour after hour, day after day. Their spirits high, the villagers set about doing so. The god no nodded upon seeing the tall pile of materials. This, they, under he they understood, would be enough. The god poured a strange power into the pile, and several small boats were assembled. Cautiously, the villagers boarded. 
the small vessels began floating up into the air. With the god leading them, the boats rose higher and higher, soon passing through the thick clouds. The vastness of the heavens took the villagers' breath away. Floating islands dotted a clear blue sky. The villagers re rejoiced songfully, and then, with reluctance, all fell to their death. I mean, returned to Earth. One day, winds at the village roared back to life. In shock, the villagers looked to the sky. Floating above them was an enormous, shi enormous ship that the god has sent in gratitude. Numerous auras on both sides began to move like wings, soundlessly churning the skies. Air blew across Hebra, Hebra once again. The skies cleared, and blooming flowers rose from the ground. The god had given them the blessing of wind. This arc that saved the village from catastrophe came to be known as the Stormwind Arc. So ends the story of Stormwind Arc that saved the village long, long ago. Once a god fell from heaven, stilling the Heber winds, the heavens grew lifeless just as the air below thinned. With the world in upheaval, we pledged to help the Lord. A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward, the god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its wind brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by this in this blizzard. They go, but it will we'll be fine if we can get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. For example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up so you don't notice the cold so much. We don't have many of them here, but you're welcome to what's available. Oh, you already did. Okay, that's... Alright. Uh, in tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help when, where we can. Uh? When you cannot take any more of this cold, I recommend snacking on food made with a pinch of spicy pepper. We do not have many here, but you're welcome to what's available. And with that, I should probably cook some. One sec. That was easy. Some of them are just easy. Some of them are just like uh, Breath of the Wild Korok seeds. Other ones have a little bit more uh, pop and circumstance around them. Where am I going? I'm going up here. You can tell that beto <laughs> between cuts or episodes, whichever one it was, uh, not only did I get food, I got food, but I also ate food. I took a brief break. Supposedly we're supposed to go up here, which I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine following the rails for a moment, for like the current time. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily want to like just follow the story or if I want to go off and do my own thing, but I at least want to get to the tower and that's kind of where I'm being led to. I lied about that. What is oh, I, I saw that branch moving up ahead, like way up ahead. And I thought it was like a, a giant creature. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go up here just briefly we also have uh, and it's gonna kind of stink because i have an approved reju i'm i'm fine with doing that decision because i mean it's it's reju she's she's been there for us uh <clears throat> and i i'm fine having some some sort of loyalty to her she can kind of be my fandle a little bit but we're also probably about to get a new companion one that i probably you know could have weighed whether or not I wanted to uh, help them and make them better right off the bat. And who knows, they might they might knock the pants off of Riju or the... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get that close. Uh, the skirt, is that what you're wearing? I, I don't, I can't actually tell you're moving too much. Uh, brambles, we have learned an app for this by most used. Fire fruit, let's get rid of this. Yes. We can just jump over it. Yeah, whatever, whatever. But it's cool that we know that this is a thing. And it is really quite helpful. And it's, it's going to make this area look a little bit prettier, too. Although this these brambles will probably just respawn. Open. Oh, not a problem. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, let's skip this and get a great view of the area ahead. Plus, I don't really want to see the guardian arms. Oh, I can't skip this. I had to see the guardian arms. That's really weird. Ooh, there's a shrine up there. I'm glad I didn't skip it. That's some weird flickering. Why is there flickering? 
Ah, that kind of hurts my eyes. Uh, let's... Oh, cutscene time. Yeah, 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 scan it. There's a shrine to be had. We got our data, and it will fill in our new area. It's kind of insane how how little information, how how little of this map that I have actually mapped. But that doesn't matter because it's now done. We have at least part of the strange storm head in the sky. Okay, now can I immediately pull my my shoot? I really need to pull my shoot. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Come on. Thank you. So I gotta go over here. That seems very important. This seems actually in crazy important. Look at all this stuff here. There's gonna be a, a boss. I might not be able to reach that. I don't think I can, but I can always fly up. That's not a problem. Actually, it looks like quite the quite the island. And oh, there's a hot air balloon down there. Okay, so this is this is totally fine. Totes, as the kids might even say. I don't think they even say that anymore. I don't think anybody says that anymore. Uh, yeah, so we can... Uh, you know, we go up so that then we can go down. We'll we'll tackle above first, and then we'll we'll jump down to the, the surface, because it doesn't look like I have... Oh, hi. <laughs> okay. It looks like we'll have a couple bosses to fight here. Okay, sure. With my new and improved heart... I mean stamina. <laughs> oh, low battery. Are you kidding me? Uh, cool. Free shrine, right off the bat. The Ijo'o Shrine. You know what I've realized that we haven't encountered thus far? A test of strength. Like, there are some enemies in, in these these trials, to be sure, but... Oh, look at this. Look at this matchup that I've garnered. Oh, it broke my shield! Wasn't that a metal shield? The fire broke it? That's kind of dumb. Uh, let's get a better weapon here. Sure. Goodbye. And I'll take the shield, why not? That's kind of weird though. Uh, and it looks like I will need said shield. Melt this ice. Yeah, we've had like the we've had the tutorial shrines that give us a you know a little a little challenge uh, to uh, acquaint us with the controls, but there we go. Very little in terms of actual challenges inside of a shrine, I, and I wonder if there are any. I mean, maybe I'm just forgetting. Stone slab shield again, reminding us that we can f indeed fuse everything, even if stone slabs aren't the best thing to be using. Rusty broadsword. I don't really care about that. There's some fire. I'm guessing under inside this is a switch, or is it a construct? Oh, it's a chest. None of the above. Chest contains uh, a few, some arrows. I definitely need arrows. That's something I need. Uh, whoosh. Do I just block that with my shield and move? Oh, I know what it is. You know what? I'm gonna try the stone slab shield. G gonna give that a shot. That's pretty good. Okay. Nice little tutorial. Again, each of the shrines imparts with us a small... That's my demon bow. Eh, sure, we'll give it a shot. Oh, wait, it scales my max HP, so I sh should sit on it, I guess. What you gonna do? I'm gonna kill this guy before he does anything. Where are there rockets everywhere? That's very strange. Um, pick up. Okay, throwing it doesn't do anything. Am I supposed to use? I might have to grab the stone slab from the other room. I thought in one of the trail. Oh. Oh. Let's try that. Let's give that a shot. I, I could have sworn that in one of the trailers, Link grabbed onto a rocket while it was moving. I could be mistaken about this. Oh. Okay. That's... It's not really the, the lift I need here. 
Can I hit this and then grab onto it? <laughs> no. Well, okay, let me let me try it again. Let me try it again. No, I can't. Away we go! Oh, we can hit the ceiling! That's cool! <laughs> I, I didn't even think about that. I was like, I, I thought it was just gonna go up forever, but we can definitely bonk her head on the very visible ceiling.